Hey there, my webcrafting wizards. Do you love colors? Well, me too. But I didn't know how to use them for the longest time. They I used to mix them up and they would always end up poop brown for some reason. That's why I'm making this episode here, number two of Design Principles. The first episode was about white space. If you want to go check that out, go back on my channel. I have like five videos, so you can't really miss it. And this one's going to be about color. As you can see, Rainbow, the song by Israel is Komawi Kokokole. Kole. 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 So I started off as a solo developer myself, but I had to learn some UI design just for the fact that I didn't have anyone really send me that through, right? When you're working alone, uh, you're not going to have anyone send you a mock-up so you can just implement it. So you're going to have to figure it out by yourself. So that's why I think like understanding some of these core design principles like color and contrast and white space and harmony and balance, you know, really important. So let's get into it. I'll try to give you like my best tips and tricks in just a couple of minutes if you have some time. Appreciate that. Let's get into it. Oh, drop a sub, drop a like. And you know what would be fun actually? Leave down a comment down in the description with your favorite color. If it's already down in the comments, just upvote it. Just so we can see kind of what the balance is because I have a stat to show you right now. Okay, so what should we keep in mind when next time we're creating a design or a website? Well, one, we just, at the back of your head, just remember that colors have a psychological effect on human behavior and emotion. Have you ever looked up at the sky and just felt this positive feeling in your body, like a sense of tranquility and peacefulness? Well, those are the emotions that are associated with the color blue. Also, trust for trustworthiness. And you can just look at all the big tech companies out there. The most prominent color is blue. So now you know when they try to take advantage of you and try to get your sense of trustworthiness. Facebook, you ain't having it. So I was doing a bit of research out there, just trying to find out like what people actually like, like what's their favorite color out there. And it turns out blue is the favorite color overall in the world. People love their blue. Uh, the earth is blue, the planet is blue. It makes sense, right? We feel close to it. So if we check the stats, men really like the color blue, more than 50%. And women, 35%, still number one spot. But keep in mind, colorblind people that have protonopia and deutronopia they're not going to be able to see green or red right but they are going to be able to see blue so let's check out some web designs and i'll tell you some good tips and tricks that you can apply let's look at the first website here and this is Vercel's website and as you can see it's mainly black and white right there's not much color going on but they're using these light tints of color here for their advantage so this is called a monochromatic color scheme which means that you're generally going to have just one color and with that one color you can try different shades to accentuate certain parts of the website so if we take a look here your main titles are just full-blown white right but the secondary color that's like not as important text on the screen would be a lighter white right so like a grayish color because the contrast now won't be as big between the black and the gray compared to the black and the white and as you can see even here at the buttons they're using that white to highlight the active element so if i click on apps as you can see that gets highlighted and then the first button gets that grayish color and the little bits of colors that they do have just kind of accentuates like all the features and the performance stats they have so that makes it look really clean but as you can see no matter where you go on the website again it's mostly black and white but when in doubt there's nothing wrong just going with a white and black monochrome color scheme you know the next color scheme because you see it in movies all the time Check out these pictures. What do they have in common? They all look the same for some reason, don't they? Well, they're using a complementary color scheme to grade their footage. So they're using blue for the shadows and they're using orange for the highlights. So they're mixing these complementary colors together to get this pleasant image. And the way complementary colors work is you're basically looking at the opposite side of the spectrum and picking the color. So if you go to green, you're going to pick purple. If you go to orange, you're going to pick like a teal blue. So this website uses a complementary color scheme. So they picked purple here as their main button and you can tell that basically by their call to action, right? Their most important button on their website is probably to schedule a demo or start a free trial. So that's gonna be your primary color for the buttons. And then the green, again, is the opposite end of the spectrum, is gonna take more of a secondary role. So adding a tint to the background here, uh, highlighting secondary buttons that are not as important as well as you can see down here as well the main buttons are still gonna be purple 
and as you can see the actual color scheme that they also used here more of a pastel color scheme and just because you're using these two colors green and purple doesn't mean that you cannot use other colors as well so picking different colors here works well just because this is enclosed in its own section the overall website is still gonna be green and purple Let's look at our next design. This is called the Anagulus color scheme and it involves picking one primary color, in this case red for example, and then picking the two colors that are sitting adjacent to it. So orange and pink or purple or whatever this color is. Um, so mixing these colors together, it, it looks wonderful, right? It looks nice and warm and you can create gradients for it as well to create these nice buttons and you can mix and match. So your primary colors for the buttons would still be red for this example here, or again, they decided to do a gradient of all colors, which looks fantastic. And you can apply the same for the cards as well here. Uh, I don't think it looks that good on the, on the stars here. I would have pro probably just went with red, just red on there or white. Uh, but other than that, it's very easy to just throw down colors and for it to be look good. So that's the big pro of an Agulous, uh color scheme. So I highly recommend it. Now Wix Studio, it's super easy to create a color scheme. You can just head over here to Site Styles and to Colors. And here I can adjust it any way I want. So for the background color, for example, I want this to be white. And then I'll have my shades of grays and blacks. And for the primary black text on my screen, for example, I want to do a black and white, right? Kind of like Vercel. So I won't pick like a fully black color as well. Uh, I'll slide it slightly up like that. Pure black is just not gonna look as good as a tint. All right, there's no such thing as pure black other than screen, so it doesn't look as natural. And one more important thing to keep in mind is be careful with colors. You, may, you need to make sure you also have a good contrast here, okay? So if you end up picking a color that looks like that, the contrast with the text and that color green, it's not gonna be clear enough for the user to be able to read this text. There's tools out there that you can use to check the contrast between the text and the button. Uh, so I highly recommend you to do that. But as you can see, that makes such a big difference already. We can clearly read the text. Whereas if we pick a lighter color with the white text, it's just not gonna show up clearly enough. So that involves text, any text on your website, make sure they are clear and visible. Okay, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll leave you here. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.